We're here at Mountain Gardens. It's uh, early August. We kind of missed this flowering period for this plant, but we can talk about it now and it's just making its seeds. This is Honewort, Cryptotania canadensis. It's quite common in the woods here at Mountain Gardens. There's another little one here, here. There's about 20 of them right here. There's another one back here. It's uh, right here, it's mixed in with the woods nettle. A good spring edible and this is another good spring edible so uh, this is called honewort in most uh, Western books uh, Cryptotania canadensis as I said uh, it's much better respected in Japan uh, where it's called Mitsuba which refers to three leaflets also some Japanese cookbooks will call it trefoil referring to the three leaves and in Japan, it's used for all kinds of purposes. A highly regarded uh, wild mountain vegetable, or actually it's cultivated. What usually comes to market is little bundles of young plants, bundles of little shoots. A lot of people think that the shoot itself is better tasting than the leaves, but they're both slightly different flavors. Makes a really excellent soup stock. You can parboil it for a minute and then stir fry it. They use it all different ways. Uh, it doesn't need cooking for very long. It can actually get bitter if you overcook it. So this is really a spring vegetable and we'll try and get you some pictures of what it looks like in the spring early on. You wouldn't probably eat too much of this this time of year. Like most things it gets tough and kind of strong flavored when it goes into flowering. But this is very very abundant in the woods. We're just not utilizing it as much as we should. It grows quite easily from seed. Uh, so we seem to have young ones coming on most of the year and it's easy to go around even in the winter and collect the seeds quite distinctive uh, any of these uh, rich woodland habitats light shade this is about as big as it's going to get three four feet tall when it's in flower <laughs> 